Sean, uh, could you just give us your thoughts on the nil-nil draw away to Kilmarnock? Obviously, the team picking up a bonus point after a penalty shootout win as well at Rugby Park. Uh, it started off, it wasn't a great to start off with. Um, then, towards the end of the game, it started to get scrappy, which wasn't ideal for us. We wanted to try and get the ball down and play football, but the way they play, it was stopping us from doing that. So, it wasn't a great. We had a lot of chances, to be fair. Second half, we should have buried a couple of them. Um, to get the win, but it wasn't to be. But then we went into penalties and won that, so we got a bonus point, which made me up two points at the end, which was all right. I, a couple of weeks ago, the team obviously went down to Rugby Park and lost 3 2, went 3 0 down at one point as well. Would you say that yesterday's performance was uh, a marked improvement on what was uh, what what the display was a couple of weeks ago? Uh, it, was a, it was an improvement, but uh, I still think we could have done a lot better than what we did. We should have got the ball down and try to play it more than just kicking it along and obviously making it a scrappy game. But for the week before when we played them, it was a big improvement. We weren't up for it first half, second half. I think it was the last 15 minutes we, actually, we came into the game, but it was too late by then. 3 0 down, so we couldn't really do much. Grant, uh, Murray, uh, Eddie May, George Craig, they've all spoken about. Um, why the development squad is still called the development squad even though it's playing in the in the reserve league and the reserve set up uh, does that sort of ease some of the pressure on the players so that they know that they are still learning and that they're not just sort of um not not just the the, the reserves are almost still developing does that ease any of the pressure in terms of like the the results uh, in the matches like these uh it does to the extent obviously what you got there in the game um but for the younger lads that are coming in and not really had as much experience playing under 20s or reserves, as you call it, um, obviously it's, it's big for them when they start off the play to go on to kind of, they're just they're still learning, obviously yeah, playing boss and stuff like that. But um, aye, with the reserves as well, it's, it's good playing against, obviously playing against uh, men, as, as you call it now, but uh, I still feel like if we're getting one, one game a month, which isn't ideal. And he's gone weeks without games, which isn't helping us improve, i say. I was just going to ask you about um, obviously how the older players are finding it. Obviously, the development league, you were getting a match almost every single week, but uh, usually coming up against other development squads. But how, how are you finding the, the overall experience uh, yourself and obviously the older members of the squad? Uh, it's challenging when you come up against a team that's, that's not playing develop, it's not playing young boys, they're playing a lot of older people that are nearing game time. and you're playing against an experienced team, which is harder for us, but it's better. But then there's games where you play and it's just still playing against a 20 side and you're going for like one week, you're playing 20 side to play an experienced side. It's, um, but then, there again, you're like, you know, playing, if you're in the 20s league, you're playing week in, week out all the time and you had friendlies there and the here and there. But now it's like you're having a game and a couple of weeks off and then you try to get friendlies organised for us to obviously be match fit, which isn't, a, isn't ideal. Is it important for players, uh, sort of around your age, to, uh, to to be playing week in week out? Would you say? Ah, hundred percent. you want to get better and learn. I think the only way you can learn and get better is by playing, by playing loads of games, and experience that. And uh, as well, I suppose it is just equally important coming up against the the older players as well. Ah, yeah, bye. Hundred percent, yeah. And then uh, just as well, like you know, in terms of the. Uh, the, the matches so far this season you've obviously managed to catch Neil Lennon's eye uh, you've been on the fringes of the first team squad got taken away on a couple of the European trips as well uh, how have you found the overall experience of this season? I feel like I've started off alright I've done well to start off with um, but I went to a couple of European trips and that which was a great experience obviously been, not been in, been in stand and that but it's been it's been a good experience being away and then been on the bench a couple of times to start of the season and then sort of drifted out of it for a couple of months but I feel like I've been doing well again and uh, obviously hopefully get, uh, get involved a bit more. What did it feel like when you got to take to the pitch uh, away to Aberdeen obviously it was, uh, maybe not the circumstances that, that you would have liked to have been coming onto the pitch in but you know, what did it feel like once once you were there getting your second appearance in Hibs Colours? Yeah, it was a great experience, I, obviously it was first time in the uh, Premiership against a big club in all Aberdeen um, when you got the call to obviously say that you're going on, it's a great experience. Just wanted to go on and try and make an impact, and the meant that obviously the five minutes that I was on, so that uh, was good. So about eighteen months between the two appearances. Yeah. What 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 do you feel has maybe changed about your game in those eighteen months? 
I think you learn a lot about yourself, uh, like your strengths and weaknesses and what you need to work on and what you're good at. So I think when you get older, you obviously want to just concentrate on your strengths and try and make them the best that you can. And now what's next for, for you? Is it just trying to cement a place on the bench and try to push yourself on further, get more appearances? Yeah, I need to uh, hopefully get on the bench more and just hopefully get more game time and see how it goes, but just keep working hard and hopefully it comes.